title of the story here. Starting this winter, Whitmore High School will have a new varsity sport. In addition to the boys' wrestling team, there'll be a girls' wrestling team as well. 13 Action News reporter Brenna Nye spoke with two teammates and joins us live. Brenna. Yeah, Christian, the Ohio High School Athletic Association announced on January 13th, 2022, that girls wrestling would officially be a varsity sport under the OHSAA. Since then, some local schools such as Gibsonburg, Port Clinton, and Rossford have created a team, and Woodmore is now being added to that list. Last Thursday, the Woodmore School Board unanimously voted to make girls wrestling a varsity sport. I'm very excited to have the opportunity to be part of like the wrestling team and be able to be considered a varsity sport. Stella Strong is a junior at Woodmore and says she's excited to see her hard work pay off. We like put in all the effort with the camps and all the open mats that like our coaches were part of. And I just think that it's going to be it's going to be a good season. Katie Buchanan is a senior and says this was a perfect opportunity to try something new. I was so excited. So and I were holding hands the whole time. We were so nervous, but it was really exciting for the board to support us and give us the chance to do it. Steve Ulinski is the varsity boys wrestling head coach at Woodmore. He helped to implement the girls program. I've seen a huge reaction. I've seen an even bigger reaction probably from the community knowing that our school board and our administration staff is going to support us running a program. The very first OHSAA girls wrestling tournament was held this past March. Even though Woodmore missed the first tournament, Ulinski says they'll be ready for the next one. Oh, I know they'll fight. <laughs> it's just if uh, us, the coaches, can prepare them for, uh, you know, it's a combat sport. If we could prepare them to be ready for some, some schools that are going to have a little bit more experience than us. But I think we're up to the task. Yulinski told me there were seven or eight girls that went to summer camps and practiced during open mats, and he anticipates there will be a few more when the team fully gets up and running after putting together a staff, getting team uniforms, and setting a schedule. In studio, Brennan and I, 13 Action News. Now.